Pretty much all of my adult life, I have woken up and just immediately gotten on my phone and started scrolling, checking my social media, and honestly, who knows what. Wasting literal hours of my day, whether it's in the morning, the middle of the day, or staying up super late on my phone, just scrolling and scrolling mindlessly for no reason. I'm at the point where I'm on my phone. First thing when I wake up, I walk over to the bathroom and I'm watching a TikTok while I'm on the toilet. I'm literally watching TikTok while I'm in the shower. And I basically cannot put my phone down to save my life. It's safe to say I have a little bit of a phone addiction. Previously on my coming of age series, I made a plan for how I want to better myself, talked about where I'm at, what I've been doing, and how I want to get better, and then also ended up getting an ear infection and had to push through some hard times. So now we can actually tackle something that I can improve and that is going to be my phone addiction or my social media consumption. My goal is to make my phone more of a safe place, a happy place, and social media like a positive experience and less just mindless scrolling and feeling bad about myself. I'm literally going to parent myself and put literal restrictions on my phone as well as organize my phone for my benefit. So first I'm going to go into settings and kind of just change everything. So right now in the focus portion of settings, I have my do not disturb personal and sleep set up to where I just get like no notifications, I can't be on anything. So I think if we go into screen time, we could start with the downtime section and we can make it scheduled. And I'm going to make mine from midnight. Oh wait, no, that's not going to work. So 11.59 to, should we do 9 a.m. or should we do 8 a.m.? It depends how early I'm gonna start waking up. I think we're gonna start with 9 a.m. And I will make that for all of the weekdays. Okay, so if you go down, downtime, app limits, communication limits, and then always allowed, you can go into your always allowed and decide whatever. The apps I always want to allow will probably be phone, messaging, FaceTime, all that's good, just in case someone needs to contact me. Calculator's fine, camera, fine. I just wanted to make sure that all of my social medias are like locked after a certain time. So then I'm gonna do app limits. I do already have a four hour TikTok app limit and a one hour Instagram app limit. I did have two hours on TikTok, but I post a lot on TikTok, so I've been going live and the lives will take up like all of my time. So I think I'm going to leave it with the four hours. All right, that's good for settings. Now I want to actually go through my social medias and unfollow or mute or whatever I need to do. People that just are not motivating to me or make me feel less than or whatever. So let's go to who I am following. I actually am pretty good at keeping up with this, so I shouldn't have very many people that I need to unfollow or mute. But this is your sign to go and follow anyone who makes you feel insecure or less than anything like that something else that I'll do when I don't know if someone and I used to be friends and I'm not sure if we still are I'll go to their following and search my name and if they're not following me then I can unfollow them and sometimes that low-key hurts I'm like I did not realize this person just hated me okay well they probably don't hate me but you know what I mean so I did end up unfollowing like 20 people and I actually muted a couple people as well I would also recommend following people who align with your beliefs who motivate you and make you feel good about yourself hey if I'm one of those people my Instagram and my TikTok are Sid Francis you can go follow me on those but everyone drop down below your favorite content creator to follow who actually makes you feel good about yourself and if you're Christian and you have some fun Christian content creators you follow drop them down below and then I'll go follow them because I need more of those people. My last step to my technology hacks is going to be reorganizing my phone. I don't really know my thought process, but I kind of want to just get my social media off my front page, even if it's one page over and I know I can just go over and click on it. I think it'd be better to just not have it like, oh, exit out, boom, it's all right there. So I'm gonna do some reorganizing. I am pretty satisfied with the new setup. I also had some apps I use all the time that weren't even on my home screen because I'm definitely the person that will swipe down and search for whatever I need, you know? I think my next best step is gonna be swap my phone time for literally anything else. So here's some things I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna go to five below because my journal is almost full and I love journaling and I always take notes when I'm doing my Bible study. Plus, I wanna feel more organized and have a couple different journals for a couple different things, so let's go. 
are a cosmic force. <laughs> if you need a new journal, I always go to Five Below. Sometimes they have live, laugh, love vibes, such as this one. It says forever grateful always. I think that was the least live, laugh, love type of vibes that I could get for this kind of journal. But I don't think this one's that bad and then they match. So now I have one for like Bible stuff and then one for all the other notes and journaling that I do. So let's do some of that. heard me talk about in the first episode of the series I wanted to get outside more so I decided to scoot on over to scooters and get a smoothie they actually have Red Bull smoothies so I got a tropical Red Bull in a smoothie with wild berry so let's try it yeah okay their smoothies are banging that's a really good one I think the Red Bull smoothie is called vertigo and we are gonna go on a hot girl summer walk I live in Texas and it's 93 degrees so please wish me luck on this walk <laughs> If y'all don't understand the Texas heat, even though it's only 93, my smoothie is already completely melted and the humidity is absolutely insane. That's what makes it so bad. But I've got a backpack for my little hot girl walk because I brought my hammock, a book, my hair, what? My AirPods, and we're just gonna have a good time outside for as long as I can stand the heat. So let me get my AirPods in. Uh, so I will be listening to some worship music and doing a little bit of worship while I walk. everyone to go listen to greatly be praised by Brian Johnson and tell me it doesn't sound like the beginning of a Hannah Montana song like I for a second thought Hannah Montana got on my worship playlist <sighs> it is so hot I've only been walking for about 25 minutes and I am so while I'm out here on my hot girl walk, I figured another good way to actually make use of my phone and not necessarily just toss it out altogether is to use it as intended. Call people. <laughs> I live in Texas and all of my family lives either in Missouri, Utah, one of my brothers is in Portugal, so I don't get to see these people or talk to them that often. So I'm gonna do some family phone calls while I walk. Let's see who answers, because it's kind of a weird time of day to just be making a phone call. Start with my dad. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I am. I'm on a walk, right? This is what it looks like after a hot girl walk in Texas. This. I'm the same color as my shirt. I am literally wet. My clothes are wet. I'm about to take the best, longest, cold shower of my life. Dad, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you, but I'm also like, because you made me walk probably twice as long as I was intending to walk. I was thinking 45 minute hour long walk. I have been gone on that walk. Let me see. I walked in one walk 10,000 steps and I walked for two hours a little over two hours actually um, So yeah, I'm a little too toasty and sweaty and all that to hammock So I actually might do that later like sunset. Ooh, that'd be so pretty So shout out dad, but also like is it really a shout out cuz I'm really hot I have a great representation as to what I was dealing with out there that's all sweat. Sorry to gross you out, but it's literal sweat. Woo! 10,000 steps. Well, I did want a goal recently to start walking 10,000 steps a day, but that was supposed to be like throughout the whole day, plus a little walk, so good for today. It was also a good way to make use of my phone and get some exercise, so we'll take it. Another thing I've been doing, and yes, I'm chilling in my sports bra because it's that hot outside today, is looking at apartments, which obviously takes up a lot of time that I'm not on my phone. It's kind of fun, kind of the most stressful thing ever. If I thought I could buy a house right now, impossible, because even apartments are impossible to find. So, wish me luck. And the absolute last thing that I can do is to actually schedule my days. I need to be busy, not just sitting around, no schedule, sleeping in. Which is actually gonna be a whole video in this coming of age series coming soon. Just make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's overcome our phone addictions together. Yeah.